What's up guys, welcome back to the second episode on my fitness channel. Today we are at wonderful sunny JBR in Dubai and we are going to be eating like Sam Sulik. Now if you've not heard of Sam Sulik, like where have you been? This guy is blowing up the internet in the bodybuilding and fitness circles. So what's special about Sam Sulik compared to me? Well, I'll tell you something, the guy is twice my age and he's half my size. Hang on, half my age and twice my size. That's the right way around. <laughs> so today we're gonna to be trying to eat like Sam Sulik on a bulking day. He's eating 5,600 calories, which for me is like a huge amount of food. And he eats a lot of processed junk food, which to be honest, I'm not sure if he does that just for YouTube and just for attention, or if it's because that's what he genuinely eats. So it's a lot of food for me, it's a lot of junk, but let's see how we feel at the end of it. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, see you on the other side, and let's get eating. Let's go. So, we've watched the video several times to make sure we're getting the macros and the calories right. According to Sam, he eats or drinks a quart of chocolate whole milk, which, believe it or not, is nearly a thousand calories. So we figured it out, a quart is just under 1,000 milliliters. So what we've bought is an equivalent. These are 500 milliliters each. And according to Sam, and what we've checked, it's 240 grams of carbs, 70 grams of protein, and nearly 80 grams of fat. So technically we should wait till 10.30 to do it at the same times as Sam. But as I said in the intro, I'm not the biggest eater. So for me, trying to get through five and a half thousand or so calories in a day is already going to be a big challenge. So wish me luck. Here goes the first thousand calories. Then we'll move on to the cinnamon crunch and see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> to do Sam Sulik's diet for the day is because you'll see he gets a lot of his calories basically from junk food and from liquid calories which makes it a lot easier so like currently I'm actually bulking I'm around 80 81 kilos of body weight and for me eating around 3,000 calories a day of whole foods is like really hard work I really have to like structure my day and focus around like getting the meals in and I'm constantly full Whereas Sam's goes for more of, um, let's say an unhealthy approach. He's eating a lot of like processed food, basically junk food, as you'll see what we're going to eat today. And like a lot of liquid calories, like he doesn't care too much about the quality of the food as long as he hits his protein, his calorie target. So I'm really intrigued to see like how I'm going to feel by the end of the day. Cause I literally never eat junk food. Like I have it occasionally if I'm in an airport or something or like, I know I'll have like a McDonald's breakfast now and again, but it's very rare. So for me to like have loads of like sugary, like milkshakes, donuts and um, burgers and fries and stuff. I'm just like really intrigued to see like how I'm going to feel. And also whenever I have a lot of dairy, I come out in spots and you'll notice with Sam, like don't want to be mean or disparaging, but often he's got like breakouts. So I'm quite intrigued, like, is that because of the amount of, like, milk he's having? So it'd be really interesting to see, like, after this challenge, the few days after if I've, you know, got spots and stuff, because that usually happens when I drink a lot of milk. So anyway, we've got a bit of a break before the next meal. It's going to be a lot of cereal, cinnamon crunch, five to six servings of it, and another litre of milk for the next meal. So let's let this settle. We'll see you. Time for meal two, which is going to be five servings of cinnamon toast and a litre of milk again. Believe it or not, 
it's almost a thousand calories. So I've also already had a couple of cappuccinos because we got this really cool coffee machine, which um, is delicious, but I'm not gonna count those for now. So anyway, let's measure this out. Set this on to zero. Sam has 169, he actually goes over five serving. So, wow, this is gonna be a lot for me to eat in here, but. grams. Okay, so this is gonna take me a little while to consume. I've got my litre, this time it's skim milk actually. Um, but another solid 400 or so calories. We'll do the macros on the screen as we go. Be interesting to see how I feel after this. I don't usually eat so much sugar in one go, but. Wow. Oh. So it's interesting to pick Sam Sulik, right? Because he is blowing up the internet at the moment. Um, if you're into like the sort of bodybuilding and fitness space. And one of the reasons is, is because he's very raw and he tends to focus on like the extreme end of bodybuilding whereby he'll just eat pretty much anything to get his calories in. And I don't know if he like does that a bit for, you know, exposure on YouTube because as you'll see today, we're like basically eating junk food and I find it hard to believe that he would eat junk food like all the time. Hmm. I'm not a big eater, so I'm gonna struggle with this, but. Let's see how we get on. Hmm. You can do it I'm already starting to think about this was a bad idea. But put in the comments if you'd like to see me do any uh, proper food challenges. I'll see how I get on today eating like five and a half thousand calories. So <laughs> for me, it's going to be tough, but let's see how I get on. You time. <laughs> exactly has and he has something called cluster dextrin which is basically pure carbs um, starchy carbs it appears so we're gonna have four scoops of this one two three four so he has four scoops he has two scoops before workout which is 50 grams and then he has 100 grams after, so he says six. Is that right? Six serving. Six times 25. Jesus, this looks disgusting. Imagine drinking something like that. That does not look good, does it? And then <laughs> post workout, he has two scoops of ISO whey, which I don't have, but I do have vegan whey. It's pretty much the same. I don't know how this is going to mix, but that's probably one of the sickest things I've ever seen. We'll calculate on the screen the... <laughs> that looks so disgusting. The calories, but from what I've calculated, it's a lot. Okay, so first time we're trying Twister Dextrin. So just to clarify, he has 50 grams prior to working out, and then he has 100 grams after workout with two scoops of protein as his post-workout meal. So this is, here we go. Hmm, oh, might be better. So you want to be a bodybuilder, huh? Oh, 
of a year than me, Sam. <laughs> so, feeling all right? Next up, KBR. We'll see you there for some burgers. Welcome to Five Guys. Haven't been in here for about two or three years, to be honest. So we just ordered a cheeseburger. She upsold me an extra burger patty. So I need to check when I get home, but I think the calories is gonna be about a thousand calories for the double cheeseburger with the bun. The fries are about 525. So we're talking 1,500-ish calories for this meal. So I'm feeling pretty good so far. I don't feel that full. I think one of the things you notice when you start eating more junk food stuff is you actually like process it a lot quicker than whole foods. This is one of the problems and why so many people are overweight is because they're eating stuff that is like highly palatable. Like if you had to eat 1500 calories of really high quality wholesome food, you're gonna be full for like four, five, six hours. But if you eat this like processed junk food, you'll be hungry again in an hour. Anyway, let's wait for the burger to come. Hey look, the young guy's wearing stussy. There you go. I'm 42, but I wear stussy too, so cool, cool. <laughs> See, you're never too old to wear young stuff. That guy was 15. Maybe I am too old. Right. Okay. So for many of you, you're probably thinking, what's he moaning about? Eating a burger's easy, but... I don't know, I don't eat this kind of food very often. These days, I used to, but wow, that's like a thousand calories. So let's go, let's see what happens. I'm pretty good, that is pretty good. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite burger is. Can't be super fancy. It's gotta be like a high street chain. I put five guys up there. Not bad. I'm just worried about all those chips. So this is something I genuinely mean, right? I've been eating like healthier and in very common food for like the last five years and just getting almost all my food from like whole sources. And eventually you just kind of get used to it. So you like eat stuff like this and it's like, it's kind of disgusting. And you feel kind of dirty, you know what I mean? I actually feel quite filthy eating this. <laughs> We thought of an interesting thing to do as well. We're going to calculate all of the sugar that we've consumed today and measure it out at the end of the day. So stick around for the end of the video and you'll see how much sugar Sam Sulik eats on a normal day. We'll calculate it as accurately as I can. So disgusting. Oh, that's the problem with this food, man. This makes you feel like shit. I see, I don't know how people eat this stuff. <laughs> that is disgusting. I don't think I've had a food like this unless I'm like completely drunk and it's like two o'clock in the morning. I honestly feel absolutely disgusting. 
But the sad thing is that a lot of people eat like this all the time and they think that's like normal way to feel. It's disgusting. Ugh. I can't believe Sam Sulek eats like this every day to be honest. Ugh. Ugh. It's absolutely disgusting. Right, I'm gonna go wash my hands because they've gone kind of orange. We'll see you back at home for the next one. Yeah, four original glazed. Let's go. I'll be totally honest, I hit a wall after that. I felt absolutely disgusting. And um, then I just had a bit of a sleep on the sofa when I got back. So it felt pretty rough to be honest, probably because I'm just not used to having that much salt and sugar and just not good. So I didn't feel good. Anyway, it's a few hours later now. Um, it's the last meal as Sam Sulik does it. He's gonna eat, and now I'm gonna eat four of these glazed donuts. Now, one thing Sam Sulik said is he, all he really cares about is hitting his target calories and his target protein. So today we've definitely more than hit target protein. I think he talks about having one gram per pound of body weight, and I think he's around 230, 240 pounds. Yeah, we've definitely done that today. Obviously, that's a bit more than I need. But we got there. So I'm going to enjoy these with a cup of tea. I'm going to put you on time lapse because I'm going to take my time eating them. I'm not really looking forward to them, but could be worse things to eat. Tomorrow, we're going to get up. We're going to do a bit of a review of how I'm feeling and, and my conclusions on eating this. Interestingly, um, we noticed when adding up the calories that it's actually more than what Sam said at the end of the video. So we'll add it up properly tomorrow, but I've got a feeling it's more like 6,200, uh, which is a lot more than Sam said he, he ate. So we'll put the breakdown so you can see. But basically, yeah, we can already draw the conclusions uh, tomorrow. See you in the morning. Let's get this on time. There's a little more calories left, because right now I'm at about 4,700. You know, pretty much I want to hit at least 52-ish, so. Mmm! I like it, <laughs> yeah, last meal is four cups of whole milk, almost another thousand calories, I think. My head's a bit foggy, so we're gonna add it up tomorrow, but oh, let's go. I can't tell you how gross I feel, to be honest. <clears throat> Chug this down. I'll see you in the morning. Ugh. observations or conclusions from doing that and I'm really glad I did it actually it was a, an amazing experiment my first conclusion is that I really hope Sam Sulik makes enough money quickly that he doesn't have to follow this lifestyle for long because eating that level of highly processed junk food is just 
a quick way to get to the grave. It is not a healthy way to eat. The second thing is, I realized that over the last two to three years, I've been getting tighter with my diet in terms of eating clean, healthy, wholesome, highly nutritious food. So for me, like reverting to eating like a massive double cheeseburger, like big large fries, like a liter of pot, like pretty much three liters of like whole milk and all the other like high processed garbage just made me feel like absolute dog shit. Like I can't tell you like how rough it made me feel. Like I was actually nearly sick. And then like, I'll spare you the details, but I was on the toilet for like 25 minutes this morning. A big factor, a big reason is because like, what Sam Sulik ate yesterday and what I ate, there was pretty much like no vegetables, like no fruit, very low fiber, high sugar, high salt, high refined um, supplements. Basically like no good food at all in the whole day. And that is not how you should feel. Like you should feel good like most of the time. So that was a massive thing for me. This is 310 grams of sugar. Now the American Heart Association recommends a total maximum for a male adult of about 30 grams. So Sam Sulik in one day is having uh, 10x times what is the recommended healthy amount. Granted, he's a big guy, but this is unbelievable. And this is why I felt so rubbish yesterday and still felt so rubbish this morning. So, wow, if you needed a visual for how dangerous Sam Sulik's diet is. But just to end this video on a positive note, like, remember, if you have like a rough day where you do binge and you eat like shit food, one day is not gonna make much of a difference. So I actually weighed myself yesterday, I was around 81 kilos. Today, I'm around 81 and a bit kilos. So pretty much no difference. Measured my waist, 34 inches yesterday, 34 inches today. So again, like, remember, if you do have like one bad day of eating, you can quickly get back on track. And the point is, just don't do it like five, six, seven, eight days in a row because then you're gonna start feeling and noticing these. So anyway, that is a wrap. Sam Sulik, please start eating healthier, bro. Otherwise you are gonna end up getting a heart attack or something. So yeah, I've enjoyed that experiment. I wouldn't recommend people try it because you shouldn't eat like that. You should be feeling good. Anyway, on to the next one.